A recent study claims women are more attracted to sexist men? I'm, I'm deferring to you. You t take this one away. So Dr. Bostro. <laughs> So this is a really interesting one, and it's definitely a thought-provoking conversation. It came out of University of Kent and Iowa State University and was published in, let's see, um, Personality and Social Psychology Bulletin. And so what they did was they I had... Great, a great bulletin. Yeah, I don't so, get that regularly, so But, but at any rate, the premise of the study is they had five study groups of women between 104 and 233 women, and they asked them questions about the attractiveness of men who either practice this well-meaning chauvinism, which was sort of defined as what we call benevolent sexism. And that's not hostile. It's not that women are inferior, but it's more of the vein that women are fragile and they need to be protected versus treating them completely as equals. And they found that the men who were chivalrous and opened car doors, and, and not to be let, confused. Let me go but, but, but first. Let, let I, want, go I want to first. back up, because big difference, you, you use the word chauvinistic, and then you use chivalrous. And Correct. I, those are very different terms to me. So, so it was the study looking at more of the chauvinistic tendencies or chivalrous tendencies? Well, so that's the question. So basically both. So there's something called hostile sexism, which is based on the premise that men and women are not equal and men feel like they're unequal and that should be a strict gender divide That's in terms of That's when the guy like walks 10 feet ahead of the woman. Correct. Yeah, and you see that culturally in some parts of the <laughs> That'll world. That'll get you in trouble. Quickly. And then there's the other complete opposite, which many strong feminists really believe in. Men and women are equal. We should not be treated differently. And then there's this sort of well-meaning, which means sort of kind and benevolent. Like, they're not doing it because they think women are inferior, they just think that they need to be taken care of. They're a little like, bit let fragile. Let me carry that bag for Correct. you. Let me carry that yes. suitcase. Let me put that up for you. Let me whatever. Mm -hmm. So the interesting finding from the study is that even strong feminists who self-identify men and women are equal consistently rated the men who had this well-meaning sexism as more attractive, time after time. Even when they acknowledge that this is patronizing, this is undermining me, it may not be, even rationally when I realize that this isn't necessarily a positive thing because in the long term this can be harming women's ability to really gain equality, even when they recognized that and they said they were strong feminists, time after time in the study they kept identifying so those men as more attractive. That even among, amongst feminists, women want this, it makes them feel good, they almost expect it, right? Well, so the, the thought about the study authors, the way they rationalize this is that evolutionarily, women are hardwired to look for mates or spouses who will provide, who will commit, who will Keep protect. Them safe. Yes, and, and for their offspring, more importantly. And they felt that even when rationally you feel like, you know, he's really kind of patronizing me and this is sort of undermining, hardwired, you may still say, but he's probably going to take care of my kids. And so somehow you still, in a way that even when rationally you know may not be the best thing for women's rights, you still identify that as I mean, a positive it just, trait. It just supports that we are hardwired in, in a way. You may not realize it, but there are things going inside men and women that you expect that you want to have happen to preserve the species or preserve a relationship, protect their kids, etc. Yeah, and so it's, it's interesting too because they drew the line between polite behavior. So obviously everybody wants civility and everybody wants to be polite, but this was more what we describe as chivalry or this aspect of opening the car door or carry your bag for you. So, so it's not just being courteous to someone else. And it wasn't hostile, it wasn't well, poorly intentioned at all.